The movie begins in Hong Kong 2009, while an old woman called Mrs. Lee is driving with a baby at the back seat, some ghost-like creatures called the Yagoi comes out from nowhere and begins to chase them. They want to stop Mrs. Lee and take the necklace that she was wearing. The necklace is called the Phoenix, and it was special because it has magical powers in it. Miss Lee dodges them in every way she can but not for too long. At the dying moment, the warriors of the Circle of Twelve called the Zodiac shows up to protect her from those monsters. The woman is the guardian that's why those dark forces wants to kill her and take her necklace of power. But the situation turns worse when all the lights in the road turns off. The dark forces leader shows up. Fifteen years later in San Francisco, the baby from back then is grown up to a boy called Tom. He is getting his ass kicked by a bully when he meets a beautiful new girl in his school. Tom always avoid fights, but the bully went out of the line with this one. Tom warns the bully never to call his grandma a witch, but the bully still goes as far calling his grandma a crazy witch. Tom gets so angry that he unconsciously brings out a powerful energy that sends the bully fleeing in the air. He breathes heavily pondering on how he was able to do that. He later hangs out with a new girl who seems cool with what he did because the bully surely deserved it. He tells the girl a lot about his grandma like the charms she normally makes. His grandma has always told him stories on how she normally uses those charms to ward off evil spirits, but Tom has seen those stories as superstition because he believes spirits and monsters are not real. He loved her, and he hoped that one day she would give up her weird practices and live like a normal human. The girl who introduces her name is Rav, escorts him to his house where he talks about how the townspeople leave oranges on their stoop because they all think their house is a temple. Just as Tom and the girl part ways, Tom goes to remove all the charms his grandma placed at the door. Grandma Lee tells him that the charm might seem silly to him, but it's important to her. One day he will understand the reasons for the charm she placed at the house, and will one day see himself for who he truly is and not what he appears to be. Grandma Lee cautions Tom for fighting. Although the bully started it, she teaches him that what he should have given to the bully in return is compassion, because the bully must have been probably hurt at some point. People are inherently good. This is what their forefathers has always believed. Tom makes it clear that he just wants a normal life, but Grandma Lee also clears out that he and their family are not normal. She decides to tell him the secret she has been keeping away from him for a long time, but first, he has to place the charms back at the door. Just as he does so, a strange man shows up out of nowhere and corrects him on the right way to put the charm. He is worried that the charms was out of their door for five minutes. To his relief, Grandma Lee and Tom are all alright. This man's name is called Hugh, whom Grandma Lee introduces as her old friend. They find out how Tom threw a kid to the ceiling with his unknown powers, but what scares them is how people saw him doing that. Who suggests they relocate to a new environment, but Tom doesn't want to hear any more word but to understand what is really going on. Hugh explains that he is a warrior of the Circle of Twelve otherwise called a Zodiac, sworn to protect the Guardian of the Phoenix. His grandma is a Guardian and they come from a family of Guardians, people who had protected the Phoenix for a thousand years. Just during the argument, they sensed a great danger at their house. Grandma Lee immediately activates a boundary spell to protect them. She senses a really powerful magic and orders who to escape with Tom to somewhere very far from here. Tom refuses to leave her but Lee pushes them out of the house with her spells. Lou, a very powerful dark witch, shows up at the house and threatens Lee to hand her the phoenix necklace. There is no time for much talk as she orders her monsters to kill her. While Lee fights the monsters, Tom couldn't just watch but goes to help her. You seeing Tom in danger transforms into his true zodiac form, a huge tiger, to rescue him. Seeing more of those dark creatures coming their way, who places Tom on his back to escape from the scene. Meanwhile, the dark creatures are no match for Lee due to her phoenix powers. Lee fights the evil witch, and although she isn't as healthy and strong as she used to be, the evil witch was still outmatched. Getting distracted by Tom's situation, the evil witch uses this opportunity to get her. Lee passes the phoenix necklace to Tom and sacrifices herself to kill the witch, leading to a massive explosion at their house. Tom and Hugh sees a ghost cart who have come to carry away the soul of the great and noble which is his grandma who takes Tom to where he stays, saying he needs to alert the other Zodiacs on what happened. Grandma Lee was the guardian of the phoenix, which is the necklace she gave to Tom. Ever since Goddess Nukua used the necklace to create humanity, dark forces have been trying to capture it. The duty of protecting the phoenix has now been transferred to Tom because he is next in line as a guardian after Grandma Lee's death. Grandma Lee had already placed Tom under Hugh's care, which makes him his apprentice who shows Tom his new room upstairs, but this is where his destiny all began. 
Just as Tom lays on his bed, he finds himself in a kind of realm where he is met by goddess Nuqua, who told him that he now walks two worlds which is the mortal and the magic world. He later sees Hu who sings farewell songs to Grandma Lee. Tom joins him and they both mourn her death. The next morning, Hu takes Tom underneath the house so they begin their first training. He orders Tom to try and strike him. He wasn't even able to land a punch. Tom later realizes his necklace disappeared from his neck, which Hu reveals to have taken without him noticing. That's the whole point of the training, to make sure that the phoenix is always wrapped around his neck at all time. Hu chases a rat after he spotted it stealing his money. The rat transforms into a human which leads to Hu introducing it to Tom as a zodiac just like him. The rat zodiac is named Sydney, who uses his powers mostly for theft. Anyway, he came to tell them that the dark witch, Lou, is still alive. While he was out wandering the old rent district by the sea cliffs, that was when he saw the dark witch who appeared to be injured after her fight with Grandma Lee. She got into this abandoned mansion and crawled into a creepy fountain. The water from it healed her. According to Rat's suggestion, who decided to go to the Temple of the Twelve to get the rest of the Zodiacs who can join fight the Dark Witch. They had arrived at Chinatown to locate the hidden temple, but they led themselves into a trap of the Dark Forces. Another Zodiac, a dragon comes to their rescue, using her incredible powers to take down the creatures. Who seems jealous of her, but it's safe to say that she's one of the most powerful Zodiac among them all. Anyway, they went to meet Cynthia, she's a frog Zodiac, and the gatekeeper of the Temple of the Twelve. Only with her magic can one get inside the temple. She uses it to unlock the door of the invisible temple. The whole place turned out to be so beautiful, making Tom so fascinated. Rat Zodiac really has a cool way of introducing people. He introduces all the Zodiac warriors like a basketball team. First is Rooster, the Feather of the Fury. Two is Dog, the Slobber Tsunami. Three is Ox, the Muscle and Tussle. Fourth is Samain Sorceress herself, Monkey, the Lean Mean Shrinking Machine. Fifth is Pig, the Ham Slam, Rabbit is the cutest, but her attacks are one of the most scary. Next is Goat, their explosive expert, Horse is their god of speed, and the lastly mentioned is Snake, the most flexible and fanged. The Zodiacs used to be twelve in number not until the Dark Witch captured some of them. Tom makes fun of some of them because they look weak, like how is a chicken, goat, and a rabbit going to help fight the Dark Witch, but he is yet to understand how powerful they really are. Just during an argument between them, Tom sneaks out to the abandoned mansion. He wants to fight the evil witch by himself and get revenge for his grandma. The Zodiac's finding out about this goes to the mansion to stop him. Tom doesn't know how to use his powers to use walking himself right into a death trap. Tiger suggests they split up, but Dragon wants them to stick together as they will be more stronger. The Dark Witch sends her magic umbrella which captured goat, chicken and rat, although they really put up a good fight. It was what she used to trap some of the missing Zodiacs that was missing. Tom is surprised to see Rad at the mansion, the new girl and his only friend at school. Rav introduces Lou to Tom as her mother. Lou is the dark witch which she never knew about her mother. Tom goes to attack her but she captures him but realizes the phoenix is not on his neck. After threatening him, he gives her a fake location of where the necklace is. When the rest of the Zodiacs comes to help Tom, the dark witch unleashes a flood to the building to kill them, so there won't be anyone left to stop her in finding the necklace. Rat finds a way out of the mansion but unfortunately, he is the only one that can fit in. Monkey wastes no time but to use her powers to shrink them all into smaller sizes, so they can pass through the pipe. The spell has an expiring date but luckily they were able to get out quickly before they turned back to their normal size. Rath thanks Tom for saving her and leaves. Tom takes the Zodiacs to where he hid the phoenix necklace in a bowl of fortune cookies. Dragon misses the rest of their members, but Tom believes that having a guardian like him on their side, they have a shot in saving them. All they just have to do is to teach him how to use his powers. Firstly, they train Tom on how to connect to the phoenix. The power of the phoenix is the greatest in the universe. In the right hand it creates, but in the wrong hands it destroys. If the dark witch gets it, she will unleash its powers, using it to destroy all humanity and reign in darkness for all eternity. Things doesn't go well between Tom and Hugh. They both had a lot of ego tussles and arguments. Who was sick and tired of making Tom understand who he is, and Tom, on the other hand, believed that Hugh is too hard on him at times. Tom wanted to revenge the death of his grandmother, but his heart and mind were not in sync. The belief that he could do it was lacking within him. Who knew that, unless and until Tom was convinced, they would end up on the losing side. One morning Tom sneaks out of Hu's house to pay a visit to their former house where his grandma was killed. To his surprise he sees his grandma and embraces her with joy. She tells him to give her the necklace, but have warns him that it is not his grandma, but the dark witch who used disguising spells. It is too late as Lou took the phoenix from him.
Tom returns back to the rest of the Zodiac and informs them the bad news. Tiger puts the blame on himself for not being a good mentor. What matters now is how they move forward. Tom comes from a long generation of guardians, so Hugh uses it to encourage him that it's in his blood and his grandma gave him the necklace because she believed in him. They all attend the Chinese New Year celebration, where the Dark Witch is to show up immediately after sunset and destroy all of humanity with a phoenix. According to Hu's instructions, Tom uses his mind to track down the phoenix and is able to locate Lu's whereabouts. Lu releases all her dark creatures and a final battle begins. While the Zodiac takes out the monsters, Tom's target is on Lu. He follows her to the top of a skyscraper where another battle begins. Lu overpowers them and traps Tiger in her umbrella. Tom gets so angry and this unleashes his guardian powers. This causes the Dark Witch umbrella to fall off. Rav catches the umbrella and frees all the Zodiacs that was trapped inside it. The world is in chaos as the Dark Witch begins to use the Phoenix to suck out the souls of all the humans. We get to the what each of the Zodiacs are capable of. They took down each of the monsters with strength, speed, explosives, crazy attacks, and so on. Each of them then combine their strength to finish off the Witch, but she uses a secret technique to trap them. Tom remembers what his grandma once taught him that fighting isn't always the solution but what matters is his heart and mind. Tom could see the Phoenix and he realized that he didn't have to fight Lu to get it. He held the stone firmly in his hand and healed the phoenix that had turned all black due to all the hate that Lu filled it with. The phoenix responded to its master and it became what its master wanted it to be. Lu made it into a weapon to end humanity, while Tom made it an elixir from which all good things were born. With so much power now in his hands, Tom sends the dark witch and her demons back to hell. The souls of all the humans eventually return back to their bodies and they all celebrate their victory. But this happiness is cut short when Tom falls of the building and dies. Who is not ready to accept Tom's death? The Zodiacs combine their powers to send Hugh to the spirit world with Tom Corpse where he pleaded with the goddess Nu Hua to merge their souls so that he will have a chance to bring Tom back to life. A similar thing had happened in the past when Hugh gave his life trying to protect Mr. Lee and Tom. At that time, Mrs. Lee had merged her soul with him and brought him back to life, so it could be said that he carried a little of Mrs. Lee inside him. The goddess told Hugh that there was a high chance that both of them would lose their life, but Hugh was ready to take the risk. Tom was brought back to life, and Hugh gave him the keys to his shop, as he didn't have a place to stay. Tom realized how Hugh had been his guardian angel and how he was always there to protect him. Hugh had turned white because of the merging of his soul with Tom, but then it was all worth it as now Tom considered him his family, and together they took a vow to fight evil and protect their world, and that was how the movie ended. Thank you for watching guys, if you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching by.